Hi, it's Babette from Digital Noir here. I'm just going to go over how to have a look at your reports and get a good overview of your orders from within the WooCommerce tab. Um, first of all, on your dashboard, there will be a widget at the bottom. Um, it gives you a general overlook into your sales and how they're tracking. If you wanted to, you could click on sales this month and it would take you to the link the same link that you would go to if you were to go to WooCommerce and reports. So from here you can see your monthly sales at this stage. You can also check last month's sales and the last year's sales. You can even go the last seven days specifically or you can refine that down to specific dates that you're interested in. Then again, you can break it down by product, by category, and by coupons by date. The type of information you're going to really get here is all going to help you with your marketing and targeting your sales towards specific people or getting a good idea on which things are going successfully and what is not going as successfully. Um, it'll give you information like how many sales in the period, um, the average daily sales, but do keep in mind that that's the average. So, for example, we are on the 23rd of the month and we've only had a dollar sale, which is a test that I put through. Um, how many orders have been placed um, and how many items have been purchased? Just keeping in mind that someone might purchase more than one item in one order. Um, it'll also tell you how much you have had refunded. It'll also go over how much you've charged for shipping and how many dollars worth of coupons were used. You also have the option to export to a CSV with this one. Um, that's really handy as a lot of the time you're making reports and you do work on Excel documents a lot for reporting and for collating that kind of data. So that is a one handy feature on the WooCommerce plugin. If we go under customers, that will give you an idea of who is actually an account holder and who is simply checking out as a guest. Um, obviously, we've only had one transaction go through, so at this stage, it's a little hard to tell what's going on, but once there's more information in there, it will be much more informative. And then the last tab is stock so you can check what's low in stock, out of stock or most stocked. Keep in mind that at the beginning a page like this isn't really going to look like much but really the reports is a really important page because it tells you at any time how much stock you have in, um, left of any product. You'll also be able to tell when you need to replenish a product. You can go through your reports and you can get an idea of what your customers are interested in so you get a clear picture of how customers and potential customers behave on your site you also get a clearer picture of which customers are buying what products what product categories are more popular and also which products are earning you the most money and then that way if you need to you can reconfigure your site later down the line to promote the products that are earning the most money or bump up the categories that are being forgotten you can even change the layout of the site to further your product sales towards people that are buying the most products. So really it's an important thing to keep an eye on and it basically just means that you can continue to improve your products and your services so that you can get the most out of your website in terms of earning potential. So let's just have a quick look at orders. If we go over to WooCommerce and select orders... We'll find that we have our orders here. It's really similar to it's really similar to viewing and dealing with pages and posts. So if we were to click on this order for example, And it will load it up and it will come up with all the details of the order. So we'll find the address, the shipping address if there is one, the email, 
the phone number, the customer. We'll also find what is the status of the order. And we can change the status of the order from in here. So we can change it from pay pending payment, processing, on hold, completed, cancelled, refunded or failed. And we can also see the order date in there as well. Order items is just a breakdown of what we've got. Normally there wouldn't be free shipping, so you would see that in the breakdown. So on the right hand side here you'll see that we've got order notes and that will give us a complete play by play of what's going on with our product. So we can see payment, Commonwealth Bank payment failed, payment was rejected due to an error. Once we resolve that error, um, order item stock reduced successfully and then we have item number 485 stock reduced from 10 to 9 so it automatically reduces the stock for you so you don't have to manually go in and change it to show that there's less stock and then order status from pending payment to processing and Commonwealth Bank payment completed so that payment's been taken out of that account so it's really quite precise with its play-by-play -play and it gives you a date and time of all of those notes at the top right hand side here there's also the ability to have emails sent through to customers if they have requested it to have the email resent to new order or processing order or completing order or the customer invoice so that's really handy that you can actually control when that is sent again if it needs to be another thing I'll just mention about order notes is you can actually add in your own order notes so if there's something that's gone on with a particular order you can add that order note in and then that way it's always attached to that order so you can um, you or someone else who's working with you within the business can log on and have a look and you can all be on the same page by viewing the notes that have been added to that particular order. I also manage a few things from the orders section if you're looking at it from a holistic view. So here we could actually complete the order ourselves with the click complete and it would complete the order. Just make sure you don't click that unless you actually know the order's been complete. Or you can actually view the items by clicking on the eye and that will take you to the items. So as you can see, the WooCommerce plugin just allows you to have a really good overview of the information regarding your customer and your sales figures. And all you really need to do is manage the stock, the delivery, and just making sure that everything smooth, flows smoothly with customer relations. So if you do have any more questions regarding that, just email us or give us a call and we'll be happy to talk to you about it. Thank you.